One of the interesting things about forming a band around the time that that um, we, or I, I did, was that you didn't want to sound like anyone else. It feels like the 1990s was the last time that music was dangerous. There was room for you to make records that didn't fit um, the very strict rules of, of what were required to have a commercial success. Maybe it was the last time that was a real tribal. Um, all right, you're into this, by the way you looked, you're into that. There was also the anti-establishment uh, movement as well. There were bands that didn't want to court the media. I mean, Silverchair famously didn't promote Frog Stomp. They refused to do interviews, remember? Because it was seen as daggy or playing the game, the media game. The only way that they can, they feel they can make you appeal to people is if you're something something new. And I think that is a very Australian thing in the music industry is that you've got to pretend that you haven't got a got a past that you've just kind of come fresh out of the womb and you're a genius sort of thing like uh... Hence why there was that urgency for young bands to be signed up quickly in that real big selling of labels signing up artists as quickly as possible. 